and Eric Scheid could not clear. Here's O'Brien looking, one-time shot, tried to do the one-timer, but it caught a little air. Gady, left wing corner. Sioux City in the forward zone, the Musketeers. Gady out to Donlan. Donlan looks to rip one off, takes a shot, goes side, try to tap it in, goal! Gady! And Gady! All right, Musketeers on the board, and Max Gady does it. Jordan, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? You absolutely call that one. Coach Strand uh, called that one. Breaks the 23-game goal drought. Does that ever feel good for Max Gady? All started from a great pass from Jake Suter in his own end. Great four-check work by O'Brien Gady and Brett Patterson. Came back to the point. Donlin hard off the end boards. Came right to Max Gady on the rebound, and he taps it in on the backhand. Hafner out of position there. Great for Max Gady. And the Musketeers, great to get that first goal because they played so well this period. 9.55 mark. It is Gady from Donlin. And Sioux City has a 1-0 lead. Here comes Dezingle, coming in, slides it in deep, trying to make a play. And now we have a fight on the other side. McCormick will battle. He's going up against Richard Coyne. Coyne trying to work his right, looking for an uppercut. And a nice roundhouse, now absorbing it's McCormick. Here he goes, roundhouse, roundhouse. This one is a battle. McCormick could be the best fighter on this team. And he's still working it. Roundhouse again across the face. Still with their helmets on out there. They have some plexiglass to deal with. But now they'll tie it up. There we go. Gady looks. Carpenter slides through. In deep looking. Back hitter shot and a goal! Timmy O'Brien! What a play by Carpenter! And Sioux City has a 2 0 lead. Wow, gorgeous play by Max Gady to start the play in the neutral zone. He feeds Carpenter. Carpenter, great patience. You think he's going to shoot? Passes off to Tim O'Brien. And these three have been instrumental in, uh, in both goals uh, for Sioux City. And God, boy, taking advantage of your opportunities. We talked about that before the game. How the Musketeers were going to have offensive chances. And, and they've done just that this period. And boy, you wanted two girls in the first period. You got it. I got it. I want three now. Okay, get greedy. <laughs> Time of the goal, 17-39. And that is gonna be Tim O'Ryan from Carpenter and uh, Gady. They uh, will correct that. Right now they have Hesketh on that, but it was Gady. Lincoln setting up to Zingle, trying to feed it across backside. McCarran down, deep shot and a goal, and there you go. There's a power play goal. Coin blue line, there's a shot and a goal. Did it get deflected? It's a tie score, Coin. Gets it far side. Lincoln will win the draw. McCarron plays it out to the blue line. Got blocked the other way. Timmy O'Brien comes across. He's breaking away. Looking in. Shot and a goal! Tim O'Brien goes the other way. And Sioux City has a 3-2 lead. Oh, Timmy O'Brien, his electric speed pays off again. Great job blocking a shot. Dangerous play by the defenseman after Lincoln originally won that faceoff. Tim O'Brien with the block, then uses his great speed, outraces two guys to the puck. And you know, we've seen Tim O'Brien and Lincoln, remember that penalty shot back on January 19th? Been stymied a couple times by Lincoln goaltenders. Well, tonight he has two, and that's just a huge goal in this hockey game. Musketeers on top, three to two, time of the goal, 13-24. Tim O'Brien, his ninth goal of the season. Sioux City taking a face off here. And here we go. Work off the board. Patterson intercepts to the right circle. Looks, waits, takes a shot, and a goal by Patterson. Oh, was that nasty? Works it, and a great shot by Patterson. Sioux City leads 4-2. Wow, great job by uh, Andre and and Tommy Olchek forcing a turnover there. And again, with the lead, you still see an aggressive forecheck. And, and I didn't expect that we'd see that, but three men down low and doing a great job forcing turnovers. And that time, Brett Patterson walks to the high slot. And, wow, look at that shot. Unbelievable, right under the bar. Absolutely perfect. 4-2. to two. Muskies get that big insurance goal. Go up by two. Time of the goal, 7-52. Sioux City up by two, 4 to 2. And they have to keep it up. Do not let Lincoln score in the next couple of minutes. <laughs> right, exactly. If you want to learn from that Sioux Falls game, you know, in that Tri-City game, they were never up by two until late. So you don't want to get comfortable with the lead here. Smoltz glides up right side. Another shot, left side shot, goal! Musketeers up by three out of five on three power play. Maybe Brad Robbins, fortunate bounce there as Gady kind of shanked his shot on the one-timer from Schmaltz, but when you're living right, you're living right. Goes right to Brad Robbins, 5-2, to two, slams it home. Hafner had no chance, and maybe that's being opportunistic right there. Brad Robbins with a huge goal to put the Musketeers up 3-5-2.
Got him in on the short side. Yeah, I shouldn't say that, you know. That was a really good shot there. Yeah. Chris Hafner kind of got over there from his left to right. Five to two, Sioux City. Top of the goal, 11-24. And Sioux City still has a five on four power play. Robbins got the goal from Schmoltz and Gady. And really, that should be Gady's third point. Yeah, it will be. Nice shadow by Kraus. There's a shot, save. Rebound left side, shot on a goal. And Dezingle is not going to miss on that one. A power play at the 14-35 mark. Prepavesis will backpedal with the puck. We have an empty net for Lincoln. They are pulling the plug. Sioux City looking for an empty shot. Got deflected. Goal! And an empty netter! How about two empties in the last week? And that's going to be Kraus with the goal. Oh, when they come, they come in punches. It took them 45 games to get their first. And now they get uh, an empty netter to two of their last three games. And Max Gady again. Four seconds, one more shot, comes around, and the Musketeers will have a final score of six to three. The Sioux City Musketeers win it tonight.